Greetings one and all, this is Rhythm Words and welcome to part two of my Share Factory update 1.08 What's New. Now, in the preceding video, I just basically gave a short overview of the interface and what new features are there to be seen and what are there to be utilized. And now I'm going to try and um, put some of the features into practice. And first I'm gonna try and start with Chroma Keen. So I'm going in blind right now. So here we go. Now this is the project that I had in my last video, which is Rhythm and Friends Play the Iron Banner, as you can see right here. Okay. All right, so let's just stop that and move it back. Now, what we need to do to implement the chroma keen is to add another track. So I'm pressing X, press add track two. But you're not gonna see my ugly face in it. You're gonna see two of my brethren. They're gonna basically be my guinea pigs. And they are Sly and Robbie, probably the best rhythm section to come out of Jamaica in the last 40 years. They look young and evergreen, man, but they've been in the business a long time. They work with so many people, so many people. The list is too long. I mean, the Rolling Stones, Simply Red, Grace Jones, Gwen Guthrie. You know what I'm saying? The list is too long, but we're not here about that. We are here about Chroma Keen on Share Factory. So the new feature is featured by way of pressing triangle. Obviously, if you use Share Factory before, it by default puts you in a video um, track and it gives you the option of actually changing the track from video to audio. So you already know that. But this time around, um, it's going to give you the option to chroma key your shit. So you press triangle and it's going to give you the full screen view of what your camera is showing. And as always, um, you press X for the features um, or for the effects that's going to be associated with the image, which is at the moment set at normal. So that is normal. That's what you're seeing. So let's try cut out. When you click on cut out, it's going to be a cutout of a circle, a cookie cutter effect. And it's going to be circular in front of a background of your choice. I actually put the background in before I started the video. So I'm going to kind of work backwards. So bear with me. So now, um, as you can see, the circle is in between Robbie and Sly. Okay, so let's just click square to pan and zoom. So with the left stick, I can zoom in and out, but with the right stick, I can position the image. So I can go onto Robbie or I can go onto Sly. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my right stick and center Robbie in the circle and then move my zoom across so it doesn't catch the sharp edge of the magazine okay right so that is that now I'm going to press square again and click on settings and it's going to give me the option of how big I want the circle to be in terms of the radius which I think is fine for me at the minute but the feathering um, determines how soft the edges are going to be in the circle so I'm going to push it way up to one as you can see it's totally feathered it looks really really soft or I can bring it right down and make the edges really sharp okay now with the radius I can open it up or bring it in open it up or bring it in okay so let's just put it right there okay and confirm that so it's just down to your particular preference as to how you want that to be all right 
right okay so we're still on cutout so let's cancel that so we press edit which is always square now backdrop okay so i'm going to delete the backdrop when you first get into this menu that's what you're going to basically see and as always the black and white checker squares shows where the video is going to be featured or the background is going to be featured it's more or less like a it's a chroma key transparent icon that's featured in a lot of um, editing software so when you see the black and white squares that's just giving you an indication as to how much of the background or how much of the video is going to be seen against the image that you just cropped and shaped and panned and zoomed okay so uh let's go into add backdrop okay so so you have a choice of moving backgrounds or static backgrounds um or solid colors or actually the screenshots that you already got in your share factory okay so all right let's pick the stars okay so that's you know a basic animated background behind your image that's going to be featured in the video that you're going to be making and editing okay okay now we're going to take chroma key into another level right now and i'm going to go straight back into the timeline right so as always we're going to press x to add and add track two and this time i've changed the background as opposed to the jersey that i had behind sly and robbie to a solid green background okay now what i'm going to do i am going to press triangle for the settings and then press square to edit and pick a backdrop okay so i'm going to replace the backdrop that i already had right let's pick that one there okay the tower landscape right now as you can see i can't see anything you can't see anything in the background you can still see the green background okay this is what you need to do in order to get the chroma key effect you need to press square and click on to settings and what you need to do you need to up the tolerance okay you need to up the tolerance so you just keep going up slowly and you'll find that the green will slowly vanish slowly slowly vanish until you get the image on the background now as you can see the edges of the magazine look pretty jagged and that's where the feathering comes in so all you need to do with the feathering you just need to up it a little bit it goes in increments of 25.25 okay so you got from very sharp to slightly sharp to feathered to well feathered to extremely feathered so it just basically refines the edges of your character or your face or your shape you know what i mean so so let's firm that up okay so let's go back into that okay now we're back into the time frame of our current project now this is very important because if you miss a step you're going to be frustrated at this point so this is what you need to make sure that is in place now when you click on add track 2 right remember we have basically chroma keyed the image to the background right that was there before but what you need to do you need to take out the background you need to basically see the checker squares behind the chroma keyed image so basically what you need to do you have the image then you have the green the solid color green and then you have either the background to test and see if it's chroma keyed or you have 
the black and white checkered effect. It doesn't matter. But if you have the background, if you have a picture chroma keyed, you need to remove that before you start recording. Because if you don't, you will have the background there. Unless you want the background there, that is. But if you just want your face, your body, your gaming chair, you know, if you just want those things to be featured in chroma keyed footage of your gameplay, then you need to have the black and white checkered background there, the transparency checkered icon, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to record a little piece featuring my brethren, Sly and Robbie. So here we go, record video. Commentary recording will start in three seconds too. The rhythm killer, 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 the rhythm killer. I couldn't keep it up, sorry. Right, so we're gonna stop that. So saving commentary. Okay. So we're gonna come out of that all together because we're still in record mode. So we're gonna come out of that by pressing circle. And that is that. So we're going to go back. And as you can see, you've got Sly and Robbie in the top right hand corner. And as I explained in previous tutorials of how to position um, your image across the screen, it is featured in previous um, tutorials, but I'm just gonna go into it real quick, just in case. So now you're in the timeline, right? So you press square, edit track two, and then you go into picture in picture layout or picture in picture settings. So you can display the shadow, display the frame, the frame color. Okay, so you can basically color it how you want to color it. Display the shadow or display the frame as it's shown on screen. But the picture in picture layout, that's what we need to, to sort out. So if you don't want it on the top right, you can have it at the bottom right, bottom left, top left, center, full screen, side by side, offset and swivel, okay? Pretty much explanatory. So let's put it at the top left, okay? So that's done. Go back, and as you can see, top left. You want it at the bottom left. Edit track two. Edit picture and picture layout. Bottom left. Done. Press circle to go back, and there you have it. So at the bottom left hand corner. So you can record as much or as little as you want, or position it any way you want. Okay. So that is more or less how to chroma key. I'm gonna get more in depth um, as I utilize it some more, but this is just basically the basic um, tutorial on how to do it. But just remember those steps, okay? If you want a background chroma keyed in your image to be put in the picture, in the, in the footage, by all means. But if you just want your body and your gaming chair, remember to take out the images just have the checker square behind your image once you've chroma keyed it and you're good to go okay any questions just feel free to post comments in the comment section below and i will do my best to answer them as swiftly as i can but anyway that's all for me for now thank you for watching thanks for stopping by and as always you done know the cool whatever the game media platform format genre happy gaming because that's what it's about ladies and gentlemen boys and girls brothers and sisters and until i catch you on the next one please stay blessed Magan. Watch the right.